welcome back gentlemen to RNG. As you can see we have grown quite a lot. We've completely taken over Herrera land and Namak land. Also the Portuguese left Zambezi alone. We've started colonizing up north here a bit but the Brits are just so much faster. They're really racing into Bartotse or Zambia here and they're destroying us. Anyway, what we have is a Zulu uprising. We are going to send in the line infantry and get to it. With all this new land we have increased our GDP not terribly much really. In fact it just jumped down a load because uh, Zululand was a chunk of it. Population has exploded though. Lots of people have been immigrating to these areas. They have uh, Melanesians have been coming over. Maori. More Melanesians. Uh, Afro-Caribbeans. Lots of, lots of people have been coming over and we have done a lot of building. I'm just going to do a slow scroll through here so you can see there's lots of tooling workshop, workshops. We have shipyards now. And then uh, rural, what we've been doing is uh, building up a lot. Oh, let's uh, scroll upwards instead. A lot more gold mines, of course. And we are going to be going straight into the coal mines. I want to uh, never have a shortage of coal again, which is what we are doing right here. We're just building up coal. We have quite a bit of industry. 25. Uh, there was more, but Zululand has taken it. Anyway, let's, let's put down these Zulus. They are causing us all kinds of jip. They have taken 1.15 million of my people and 3.2 million of my GDP. We must take it back. It's going to cost a few lives, but we will gather it. I could actually, uh, just to make sure everybody is on the field, let's promote this old man here. Where's his name? Oh, Louis Kruger. Yeah, let's, let's promote him. Just to get those extra four divisions on the front line. Oh, wait, never mind. The four divisions aren't on the front line because they're in here. My bad. I just did a complete waste and once again outed myself as a as a bit of a fool, but it's okay. This war will kick off shortly. I'm sure the Zulus will not withstand us. We will uh, destroy them, I'm sure. The economy has had its ups and downs. Uh, th these spikes are always a bit broken, I think. But we've been struggling to keep all of our building going. It's just sometimes huge spikes in outgoings and no huge spikes in, in incoming so it's really been hard to balance the books but we're in a pretty healthy state at the moment probably because the Zulus are gone as soon as we get them back we'll be paying all their welfare again and it'll be quite a coup fuffle all right what do we got they're not even trying to fight us back also my living standards were up at about 17 before this all kicked off these Zulu fools what on earth are they trying to do Bastards. They're really trying to bring down the country, aren't they? Probably be better off without them, but we'll try our best to get them back in the fold. Nothing much has changed with laws here. I'm going to try and get women in the workforce a bit more. We have so much immigration, we don't really need to rely on birth rates. A bit like how modern nations treat their people. Fire everyone into the workplace and import people to uh, keep the population rising. That's what we're doing here, because we are <laughs> playing a game where we want to focus on capitalism of our nation and not the well-being of the families in that nation. We'll start off by reclaiming our Zulu land. How close? What is, what is this? Customs Union? Why would I want to do this? The Customs Union... Uh, what does it do? Is that me joining their market? Because I don't think I quite want to do that. Not at the moment anyway. We're going to decline it. I would rather be my own independent man at the moment. Independent nation. This man has quite a chin on him. It's really taking his time though. I hope uh, I hope we get a fair bit of the land with this conquest. Oh, good. Yes. Yes, we do get a fair bit of the land with this conquest. Hopefully it won't take uh, many more of those who see the entire load of Zululand under our control. Construction is ever increasing. I'm actually going to tear down the Zululand uh, building plot. I said build one in Transvaal where it's going to be a lot cheaper to run. The Zulu one was a bit more expensive so we'll simply replace it with uh, one from here because I want to keep getting these, uh, these coal mines built. Ah, good. They're going a bit faster now. Terrific. Well, they only had a few thousand troops. As soon as we killed a few thousand of them, they uh, 
Don't really have many left today. We, we've lost a lot more, but we have numbers to replace it. So a lot hurts them a lot more than it hurts us. That's uh, that's the important thing. What is this? Secession. Ah, yes, we're, we're fighting that right now. Ah, more. Uh, the Unyamwezi people are migrating over. Good for them. More people to work the coal mines, I'm sure. Excellent Zulus won't last long at all. They'll be put to shame. We could actually have a stronger military, but I'm keeping them at line infantry. Just to uh, save the expenses. Alone. Synthetic plants. Synthetics plants. Ah. And art silk. Oh, good for them. I'm sure whoever works it will be very happy about it. We only lost two people to death in this, this battle so far. We must just be sniping them because they are losing a lot of guys here and we've only lost the two men still. Of course a few have been wounded but two dead. My goodness who taught the Orangians to uh, to shoot like that. Goodness. Uh, one more of those and we should have the land back under our control. I do wish that the British would stop their colony. They just, they're so fast. It's absurd. It really is absurd how fast they are. 50 days. I have to wait 300. Terrible. Uh, what's going on here? A peace deal proposed. Is it what I want? Yes. Good. Excellent. The Zulus have been vanquished and my economy is tanking once again. Great. Let's put all you guys down to regulars and get rid of all your health care. You, you don't need that. Now that you're back in the barracks, now do you? Let us... Um, actually, we want to have our ports up and working as well. But let's um, get rid of that. Because that was painful. But you see, my economy is, once again... I think it's the welfare payments. I think Zululand is just all on welfare. Because that's absurd. I still can't incorporate it. I am trying to incorporate these two places because they were relatively cheap. It still would take um, 20 years to do, but the cheapness was, was my concern there. Where's it say? Peasants, 15,000 unemployed. Well, get to fucking employment. They're going to migrate out of there. Good. Because I'm sick of paying for you to exist. I do have a bit of gold reserve so I am going to sit on my economy like this at the moment and just hope that let me get some mines built for everyone to go digging in. Do I have any trade routes I need to bring in? Oh, I can actually export some sugar. That's something. Um, I'm actually not getting any of this tariff money though, I don't think because we have the free market. I might have to get rid of that. I I think I'm thinking that is something which is perhaps harming me at the moment is not getting all of these tariffs. Jeez, I need a lot of that. I should be tariffing everything that comes into my country and let's get rid of these. I don't think I need that coal anymore. Let's see, well we're currently not trying to pass any laws, so let's go over to where we have free trade and let's not change it. Ah Oh that's no good. Interest must be protected, yes, but is supported by two interest groups, yes, but neither one's in government, I suppose. Politics, government. Ah, free trade party. Aha. Can I kick them out? I can. Replace them with the armed forces? I can. That's not going to make them happy. And I still can't actually do it. So what on earth was the point in that? Where does it tell me exactly why I can't do it? It allows me to put tariffs, but it doesn't actually tell me why I can't. Oh, here, maybe if I support for my interest group. It's not telling me enough, and it needs to spell it out for me a lot more than it does. And it's see, paradox used to have these things called tall tips. It used to be all over every bloody page. You'd be able to see everything in detail, but this Victoria Free seems to be incredibly lacking. I need something spelled out for me. I need to I need to be told exactly why I cannot do it and it is not telling me. And I cannot be bothered to figure it out. Let's get you guys all going properly. We need to get um, all of that coal out of those hills and 
onto ships for export, I hope. Once we have enough. Once we have enough. We're still importing some. But soon, that will no longer be an issue. And so we can... Uh, yes, it's actually... We're now producing more than we need. Terrific. And with every one of these mines, which we do have a lot of them pre-built, we'll get it even cheaper and then start being able to export it. The order... Other side of the fence. Ah! Um... See, I would like you to like me a bit more. Good. Now our main concern here is being able to get some tariffs. Because I'm not using any at the moment. Okay, well let's... Because my gold reserves are going to be going fast. Later I'm going to have to start tariffing something just to stop that from happening. But who knows. I know I could slow down my... Um, building sector, but that's just not something I want to do. I'd rather that was not required. My economy was fine until I brought Zululand back into the fold. And that's a shame, because there's a lot going on down there. They, they've got enough infrastructure. They've got enough taxation capacity, even though they're not in, um, incorporated, so I won't get the tax anyway. I, I don't get it. Nothing here is... There's not a screen telling me what I need to hear GDP expenses turmoil I, I don't have any fucking clue I'm sure somebody does I'm sure I've been told in the comment section which is very useful I uh, may have already played this but if you are able to explain stuff to me that I'm missing it's always great to learn and if you want to do more of that there is a discord server links down below where there's many of us on the discord server playing this game and there's even multiplayer if you get involved with the group, we do have multiplayers where we're playing uh, Victoria Free. Quite a few in the Discord are enjoying the game a lot, and so there's quite a community around it. People are posting screenshots of their campaigns and comparing what they've been up to, and I, I think it's great. I don't think it's great, though, is this damned economy. I don't quite get it. I could lower the government wages, though. That, that is a lot of people being paid a lot of money. However, it would upset these guys and my prestige. Huh. It would save me a fair bit of money, though. However, my quality of life just keeps dipping in my country. I am really not fond of this. I don't understand what more they could use. Get me some tobacco, please. Get me some more cloves, please. Get me some grain, if you will. And get me some liqueur. But now, I'm low here, so I need to build another one of these bloody buildings. There's always building to be done. Always. Let's go ahead and build that. Where's it cheapest? Oh, they're all about the same, but I'll put it in the Northern Cape. Sure, why not? Get a construction. Let's bump it straight up to first. Get it done. Fifteen weeks. And then we'll uh, have that. I, however, would probably, if I were to bring back the, uh, get rid of the free trade and start making money on tariffs, I probably would make less money seeing how much I'm saving with having these uh, cheap one trades. I'm not sure, because I'm paying a lot of staff to have these running. Uh, 185, actually, there's only about four buildings. Maybe, maybe it'll work out profitable. The tooltip said I'd be making an extra couple of thousand bucks, which isn't really enough. Okay, now we're going into debt. Let's uh, let's try and stop that, shall we? Lower your wages and let's start taxing luxuries. Why don't we? I just this keeps happening over and over again. I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You know, I, I lower my building a bit, but it's it's not ideal. I'd rather not be doing these things every so often. Anyway, as the campaign goes, I want to continue taking over these areas. If I can get all of this and all of this and all of that, uh, and preferably a land bridge in here so it doesn't look so silly. If the British could fuck off and we could just take like along here, I think that'd be good. And then if I did want to in a later game try and take over some parts of Portugal, I, I think Portugal deserves it. I really do. 
I really think they do, but they just have so many defensive packs. So I'd have to attack somebody that allied to, like, uh, Seliangor. I'm not sure why I would do that. I'm not sure where they are. It just takes me to them. I thought it might take me to the actual country, but that's my mistake. Oh, this does, though. Okay, great. See if I declared war on them and then added Portugal's area here as a interest, and maybe they would be able to advance that way. Anyway, the economy is making money again due to the uh, draconian taxations on luxury goods and the uh, short payments on government wages. Oh well. Construction will go ahead, we'll have this built, and we will continue with the go coal mine building. And I will see you in the next one. I'm not sure when that will be. At, at the moment it's been about uh, every 10 years I've done the video, but I'm not sure. I might show some progress when the colonization is done, or if a war pops up, something like that, or maybe not much will happen and I'll do another one at the, the end of the campaign. But thank you for watching. I hope you are enjoying it. I hope you're enjoying your own campaigns, and let me know how it is. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.